So my name is Lauren DeMeo. Uh, I grew up in New Jersey, uh, but now I'm living in New York City or Korea, depending on my time of year. Very nice. Um, where did you go to school, Lauren, and, and what did you study? I went to Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., and I studied international politics with a focus on security studies, which is actually uh, like nuclear weapons theory and uh, terrorism, things like that. But I've always loved international affairs, which is why I wound up in Asia. Fantastic. Um, next, what are your two greatest strengths, and what can be a weakness of yours? Um, one of my greatest strengths is that I'm very outgoing. I really like to know a lot about other people and where they're from, especially if they're from another country than me. So I tend to ask a lot of questions and I want to know a lot of details. Um, and I think that makes me a good teacher because I'm really interested in my students and their lives. Uh, another one of my strengths is that I'm very analytical. I'm always trying to think about what I'm doing in the classroom, what I'm doing in a conversation, trying to make that better. And that kind of leads me to one of my uh, weaknesses, which is that since I'm analyzing a lot, I sometimes uh, get a little worried about the details and I want to make everything perfect. So I have to learn to relax more and, and overcome that uh, like desire to want to ha make everything perfect. And sure. That doesn't seem like too much of a weakness, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, uh, Lauren, how do you think, uh, how do you think you, you'll stay happy while you're abroad? I mean, you've had experience teaching abroad. So uh, how have you actually in the, in the past? So in the past, uh, I've lived in Korea for one year. I lived in Thailand for nine months. And I've come back to Korea on separate occasions for three or four months at a time. I have a pretty strong group of friends in Korea. But when I first moved there, I was able to make friends with my coworkers and friends of friends. And I think what's great about living abroad and living in the expat community is that people are very friendly and welcoming. And so it's easy to make a close group of friends quickly, almost more quickly than in the States, because you already have this wonderful thing in common that you're living abroad, that you love to travel, all of these important things that are hard to find um, back in your home country. Fantastic. And, you know, that's great advice for, for new teachers as well. Yeah. Uh, um, last question, Lauren, I have for you is what interesting hobbies do you enjoy? They could either be inside the classroom, outside the classroom. Inside the classroom hobbies. Uh, <laughs> mostly, mostly outside. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I've, my main hobby is traveling. I love to go to different countries and, and eat the food there. So for recently, actually, I was in Taiwan and Singapore, and I was able to eat a lot of like the local street food and delicacies. I had stingray. I had all these strange Taiwanese sausages. So it's kind of an odd hobby to have, but I really like to go and try new food at different places. Being an adventurous eater. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, well, thank you so much, Lauren, for your time, and we look forward sure. to speaking with you soon. Thanks.